They started doing supper clubs and sweets that we have in Iran don't count as a pudding in British eyes. We usually end a meal with a glass of tea and maybe a bite of baklava and I had to put something substantial on the table. I took the traditions of Iran in nut production and also we use carrots and things like jam. I did a spiced carrot cake using pistachio with rose water cream. Rose water is very Persian and it's gluten free as well. When you're baking without flour, it's a lot more forgiving. So if your natural talent isn't baking, then this is the cake for you. We're gonna use three large eggs, 200 grams of sugar, natural vanilla extract here. Just going to add a little bit, a couple of heaped teaspoons of ground cinnamon. Just have a big stash of it here. Chuck, 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 no order really. Next we're going to add our nuts and we're going to start with our ground almonds, desiccated coconut, shelled pistachios. You can either put them in a processor or you can chop them by hand. You want to make sure that you've got lots of different textures. Unsalted butter. We've just melted that quickly. You need two reasonably sized carrots, but you don't want any franken giant carrots, franken carrots as I call them, that grate them straight in. Lovely. And then give everything a good stir. Looks like a bit of a carrot salad, but it makes for a really nice cake. 22 centimetre spring mounted cake tin, just because it's so much easier to remove it. And I've got here oven paper or baking paper. I've got a little trick. Crunching up the paper just makes it much more easy, much more simple to sort of push into the cake tin. I won't worry too much about how this is going to look. Whack in cake mixture. Pat the mixture into place. And then give it a good old And we're done. Whack it in the oven, preheated 160 for an hour. It's really easy, it's moist and delicious, and it keeps for about a week, if covered. It really evokes all the kind of perceived flavors and aromas of Iran, and it's become the most popular dessert I do.